How's it going guys? Well, I'm here uh, on Mount Carmel Pine, which is just behind me here in the background, uh, in the Avalon Wilderness Reserve. Uh, just made the roughly four and a half hour drive from my home in central Newfoundland here to the Avalon Peninsula area. And uh, I just parked the truck just back the road here a little ways. And I'm just leaving now to uh, do a three night trip here in the Avalon Wilderness Reserve. So uh not much of a plan really for this trip uh just like i said i just parked the truck so i'm just gonna throw on a backpack here and i'm just gonna start walking basically and uh take it all as it comes don't have any real route in mind or any real plan uh just gonna start hiking south here down towards the southern part of the reserve and uh yeah it's about three o'clock here now so uh, i'm gonna hike for a few hours and uh when it gets a little later around five or six o'clock i'll look for a place to set up camp for the evening so that's the plan hope you stick around and enjoy the video well <clears throat> i've been going for about an hour and a half or so here now probably covered i don't know maybe five kilometers or so Stopping every few minutes for a little break. Had a pretty heavy pack on there. I don't know, I didn't weigh it before I left, but I'd say it's probably pushing 55, close to 60 pounds maybe, just from experience. So, I got quite a bit of gear for a three night trip, but I usually do bring a good bit of gear with me. But that's fine, uh, it's not too bad. But uh, I'm going to punch another couple of hours for sure and uh, hopefully I'll be able to find a decent spot then to uh, set up camp for the evening. Uh, at least a little look out here. See for a long ways. map here now I believe that's West Pond right there the road goes right along the side of that one so that's the direction I'm heading Well, just found this little uh, side trail here. Goes down to uh, Fly Pond, down to the end of Fly Pond. So, I decided to branch off here. I'm gonna walk down this trail to see if there's anywhere decent down here at camp. It's around five o'clock. And uh, starting to get pretty tired here now. I don't want to push too hard on the first day, so it uh, looks like this goes down about a half kilometer until it meets up with the end of the pond, so I'll hike down here now and if there's anything decent there to camp, I'll, uh, I'll stay there for the evening. 
So anyways, I'll check in again when I get down to the end of the trail here. Well, got the tent all set up here. Pretty easy tent to set up. Uh, just in case anyone's wondering, it's uh, the tent is a Nature Hike Manger 2, it's called. Uh, it's a great little tent. So, when I was first starting getting into doing this kind of stuff, the backpacking and backcountry camping, I, uh, I didn't really want to dish out 600 bucks on a tent I, I didn't know how much I was going to use it or whatever so I uh, seen this one online it had good reviews and uh, so I figured what the hell I tried it out and I gotta say it's a great little tent this was uh, I think around 200 bucks or something at the time that I bought it and uh, man it's a great little tent for the price I've had this thing out now in uh, uh, high winds, heavy rain for multiple day trips, and uh, this thing has been awesome. It hasn't leaked at all, 100% waterproof, holds up great in the wind. Just a two man tent, but perfect for uh, me and the two dogs. Yeah, it's got a uh, it's got a vestibule and a door on both sides. So, so the door here, this rolls back so you can leave this open. And then you got your door in here. And then you got the same thing on the other side of the tent. So this one opens up with a door as well. So if you got two people sleeping in there, uh, you each got a door. So if anyone got to get up in the middle of the night and get out, use the bathroom or whatever the case may be. Uh, you don't have to be crawling over each other and whatnot. So yeah, great little tent. Just figured I'd mention that for anyone who's uh, who may be looking for a new tent. I'd highly recommend this one. Well, just went for a uh, little walk around camp here. Managed to scrounge up just a little tiny bit of wood. Really hard to come by here, so uh, I think that's enough to uh, boil up the kettle for me. That's so all I need, boil a bit of water. I got some dehydrated spaghetti there that I made myself. So I just gotta boil a little bit of water for that, then uh, I'll probably have a coffee or something too. So yeah, I'm gonna go out to the pond here now and get some water and get some supper going.
Oh, just got the pot on the boil here now. So I'm waiting for that. I'm gonna crack open a beer. Got a Calm Tom's Double IPA from Kitty Vitty here in Newfoundland, local brewery. So gotta support the local beers for sure. This is good stuff, I had it before. So yeah, I brought two of these. That's part of the reason my pack is so damn heavy. But uh, I'll drink one tonight. That'll lighten the load a little for tomorrow anyways. Anyways, cheers. Well, supper's all cooked up here. Got the spaghetti ready to, ready to go. So just gonna eat this now and uh, enjoy the rest of my beer. And yeah, that's about it for the evening, I'd say. Got a little bit of wood left there, so I'll keep the fire going as long as I can. Might boil up uh, another pot of water and have a cup of tea or something like that. But uh, yeah, other than that, uh, not much else happening here tonight. Hey Molly, you doing, girl? Huh? Well. Morning of day two here now. Just going on seven. So I'm just getting a bit of coffee on the go here now. Just using a little butane stove there this morning rather than looking around for firewood. So yeah, I'm gonna have a coffee. Uh have a little bit of breakfast, just a bit of oatmeal and some granola I brought there. And uh, then we'll probably be packing up and uh, hitting the trail. So we left yesterday from right up here, right on top of the map here is where the truck was parked. Walked down the road. And we are down right here now on Fly Pond on this little trail here so i'm gonna hike back up to the main road now then we're going to continue on down down this direction we'll go on down i don't know how far maybe uh gibbons pond here maybe somewhere to camp there all depends how the day goes so yesterday i was looking at it we did probably eight kilometers or so to get to fly pond here and Gibbons Pine would be probably another seven or eight, so that's not too bad. We may even be able to go a little farther than that. So yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just see how it all goes today, and uh, I'm hoping we'll be able to find a spot to set up tonight where I can fish tomorrow morning because uh, tomorrow is the opening day for trout fishing. So. You would find a nice little pond or a nice little brook somewhere where I can set up for the night and tomorrow and get up and uh, hopefully get a trout. Well, we're all packed up here now, ready to get going again. Just after 8 o'clock, so I'm going to hit the trail now and uh, cover some more ground. Beautiful day. Sun is out, wind is up again, but uh, it's going to be a nice day, I think.
Well, he's hiking in the road here and uh, up across this ridge here to my right and uh, I think I see a caribou. Anyways, I'm gonna see if I can get a little closer now. It's a long ways away, but uh, I'd like to see what it is. One lonely caribou. Pretty cool. Wasn't really expecting to see a caribou. I knew there was a caribou herd uh, here in the reserve, but kind of expected to cross paths with a moose before a uh, caribou. Anyway, it's pretty cool to see that. Wish I had a better camera, something with a zoom lens. I could have got some great shots of it. But, uh, anyways, I tried to get a few shots. Took a few with my phone there, zoomed in a little bit on the phone. So hopefully uh, I guess some decent footage of it. Anyways, we're gonna keep hiking in the road here. See what else we can find. A couple of ducks there in the brook, just spooked them off. Oh, got a decent size coyote track here. Not too long after I uh, seen the caribou. So the coyote tracks. Well, this is Gibbons Pond. It's a fair sized body of water. Well, just stopped for a little lunch here. Nice little spot here on the side of this little brook. Flowing out into Gibbons Pond. Yeah, I just stopped for a lunch and uh, a cup of hot chocolate. I uh, thought about staying here for the night, but uh, it's still fairly early. It's not even one o'clock yet. So I think I'm gonna pack up again here now and uh, We'll go back up to the main road there and we'll hike in the main road for another hour or so and then we'll start looking for a spot to set up for the evening Well, this is going to be home for the evening. Just got a camp set up there. Some gear hung up in the tree drying. Uh, it's a bit windy. I'm pretty exposed here, but uh, I was just too tired to keep going any further. So I just stopped here. This is going to have to, have to do for the night. It's an old fire pit here. So 
I'll probably get a fire going in that now later on. So yeah, it's gonna be uh, home for the evening. supper and uh, that'll be about it for the evening so anyways we'll check in again here later figured I'd show this little knife I got here I uh, bought this knife off Kyle Noseworthy, fellow Newfoundlander. It was actually his second knife I bought from Kyle. He, uh, he makes, he's a knife maker. He, he makes all his knives all by hand. Just really good knives, really well built. This one's called a bake apple. It was just a little small fixed blade knife, but uh, yeah, I'm loving it so far. Just got it a few weeks ago. And uh, it's an awesome little camp knife. So yeah, Beak Apple by Kyle Noseworthy. Dandy little knife. morning well it's another nice morning it's cold but uh no rain we had a few little showers <clears throat> overnight but uh it's a half decent morning here again so yeah just uh <clears throat> just figure i'd try a few casts first thing this morning it's opening morning for fishing so <clears throat> had a few casts in the pan there but no luck so yeah it's going to uh boil up some water now have a quick breakfast and a coffee still pretty early it's only about 6 30 here yet so i'm gonna do all that and then i think i'll break camp and uh pack everything up and start to work my way back out the road and 
Uh, wherever I come across a spot to fish, I'll stop and fish for a bit and just spend the day fishing and uh, hiking my way back uh, towards the truck. Well, back on the move again here now. It's about 8.30, so just gonna take your time now, start hiking our way back out the road, and uh, every time I come to a spot to fish, I'll stop and fish for a bit, and uh, yeah, that's all we'll spend the day. So, check in again here in a bit. Well, just came to this little pond here, just down off the road a little bit, so walked down across the little ridge there and uh, had a few flicks, but no luck. So anyways, I'm gonna hike my way back up to the road now and uh, keep going, look for another spot to try for a fish. up Peter Swain's Ridge here so I think I'm pretty much up to the top of the ridge now and uh, what a view beautiful Stopped and took Molly's pack off. Noticed uh, she was starting to slow down a little bit. She's usually way up ahead like she is there now, but she started to hang back by me a bit. So I'll carry that now for the uh, next little while, maybe for the rest of the day. Uh, she's going on 10 years old now, so I don't want to push her too hard. Last thing I want to do is for to hurt her legs or something like that. So, and uh, Goose here, he's just a pup. He's only uh, about four and a half months old, so he's a bit young yet to be carrying weight on his back. His bones and joints and stuff are still developing, so I'm not going to put any weight on him for a while. Anyways, I'll carry that for a bit. Not a whole lot in it anyways. Uh, most of this uh, days were the food, dog food for each of the dogs and their little collapsible food bowls. Anyways, uh, so I'm gonna stop now and uh, have lunch. Today it's about 1.30 or so now, so as soon as we find 
some water, a pond or a brook or something, we'll uh, stop for lunch. Well, finished up lunch there and decided to uh, hike around this pond. Uh, just stopped for another break now. Dogs are wiped out there. They're getting pretty tired, so am I. So, uh, yeah, the first two nights we pretty much camped right on the road or the trail, whatever you want to call it. But uh, tonight, since I'm on the way back out the road now, I'm starting to get a good ways out. Uh, I kind of wanted to get away from the road a little bit at least. So I decided to hike down off the road down to the end of this little pond here. And uh, I'm going to just make my own little campsite here for the night. Just getting too tired now to keep going, so I found a little flat spot here. This will do for the night. There's not much cover here, but uh, if the weather stays like this, I'll be fine. But yeah, if the wind kicks up, things could get interesting later, but we'll see how it goes anyways. I'm sure it'll be fine. Damn what edge of this pond. There's a flat spot right here. I can put the tent. And we just had the shower rain, so the uh, first thing I'm gonna do, I think, is put my little tarp up in between these trees there. At least then I'll have a little area I can get in under because it looks uh, like more rain could be on the way. It's starting to feel a little bit now, actually. So yeah, I'm gonna throw that tarp up, and then we'll uh, set the tent up here, get the gear thrown in the tent. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of fishing out in the pond here then, I think. Well, of course, as soon as I got the tarp up, the sun came out again. But anyways, a bit of a half-assed job I got done here. There's not much to tie the tarp off to, but at least if it does start to rain again, uh, I got someone to crawl under and stay dry and uh, keep my gear from getting wet until I get everything set up. A nice shady spot too now for the dogs to uh, have a little rest. Yeah, pretty comfortable lying down here actually. I might uh, just relax here for a bit. And uh... Then I'll get the tent set up now a little later on. shower of rain moving in here. Well, <clears throat> i just been hanging out under the tarp here for the past couple hours. Dozed off there for a few minutes. Dogs have been sleeping pretty much the whole time, off and on. So yeah, we had a couple of pretty good rain showers there, but uh, they passed through pretty quickly. But yeah, pretty tired now, but uh, it was a good little rest. I'm going to get up now and uh, set the tent up, feed the dogs, and uh, if the weather stays decent, I'll probably go out and fish in the pond out here a little bit. And uh, then I'll get some supper going. So, not going to bother with a fire tonight. Uh, there's really nowhere to have one right here on this dry mass. I have to go down on the shore of the pond there somewhere. And uh, there's no dry wood around. I have to hike out to the little wooded area over there to look for dry wood. So, the only thing I'm going to bother with that this evening. I got the little uh, butane stove here. A handy little rig to have so I'm just gonna use that tonight 
Just got some pasta there to boil up, so I just gotta boil a bit of water and uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do for supper. So that's about it. Uh, just relaxing here and uh, enjoying the last evening here of the trip. Like I said, tomorrow morning I'll be getting up, uh, getting on go pretty early. Still got, uh, I'm just looking at the map, looks like. Uh, probably eight kilometers or so to get back to the truck, which is not too bad, but Take me a couple hours for sure to do that. I gotta hike back up to the road first, so it's a little bit of tough going there and then Once we get on the road, I got seven or eight kilometers to get back to the truck, so Should be able to get back to the truck by noon, maybe a little earlier and uh, Yeah, it'll be hitting the road then and making the drive back that would be a four and a half, five hour drive, so should be able to get home at a decent time tomorrow afternoon. So yeah, anyway, it's just the plan. I'll uh, check in again here now in a little bit. Well, I got the tent set up here. Looks like we got some more rain coming, some dark clouds coming from over that way. So, tent set up just in time, I think. Just getting the rest of the gear thrown in there now. And uh, if it rains after that, well, don't really care. I can either climb into the tent or uh, just hang out under the tarp for the evening. So, yeah, we're getting the rest of the gear put away now and uh, hoping to get some fishing done then. But if not, uh, we'll just hang out under the tarp. Still sleepy goose. Well, it's morning of day four here now. Uh, just got up, it's just after six o'clock. Uh, I'm trying to get on the go as early as I can here this morning. So it's a cold, uh, cold, windy, damp morning out. But uh, I'm just gonna be getting a quick coffee now and quick breakfast, and I'll be getting all the gear packed up and uh, getting on the move. Okay, keep going. Let's go. Getting too uh, steep along the edge, so we go in the bush here. It's a bit tangly. We're going to pick our way through now. Come on, let's go this way. Back up the road. 
one.